Right, this is a point about bayonets. Now, uh, my central point about bayonets is this. Bayonets save lives, or at least saved lives. Now, you may think that's a bit of a strange thing to say. I mean, after all, bayonets were weapons, weren't they? They were designed for, well, bayoneting people, for sticking into them and causing them to die and stuff. Well, yes, but actually, people didn't stick around to be bayoneted. Bay being bayoneted was very, very unappealing to people who had no shields or armour. Um, and so what they preferred to do was run away rather than be bayoneted. And by running away, they remained alive. So when a load of uh, British line infantry in the Napoleonic Wars, say, uh, they got out their muskets, they waited for the French to come along and bang, shot a couple of Frenchmen and then charged screaming through the smoke, by and large, they then did not spend the next several minutes bayoneting Frenchmen, uh, more's a pity. Instead, they would find that the area that was previously occupied by a lot of Frenchmen now wasn't, because they'd beaten a hasty retreat. People don't, and that's not, I'm not saying the French were cowards, uh, they were humans, and humans tend not to stick around to be bayoneted. No one does, including the British. Um, when British military observers went uh, to have a look at uh, battles in the American Civil War, they were pretty shocked uh, at a number of things. One of the things that shocked them was just the, how uh, miserably effective modern weapons were, and they were thinking, hmm, come on, I hope that we don't have any wars in Europe, because these modern weapons are really nasty. Um, but they were also pretty shocked to see that the Americans were not using bayonets. They were not closing with each other. In the American Civil War battles, you got a load of um, one side who would come up and then start shooting. And the other lot would then shoot back, and then this would carry on for ages. The sides didn't close with each other. They didn't fire and then charge in. They fired and then reloaded and then fired again and reloaded. And the guy next to them got shot and, oh dear, this is looking a bit bad, but never mind. They fired and reloaded and, and more and more and more and more of them got shot on both sides. The casualties in the American Civil War were horrendous because people didn't use the bayonet. If you charge in with a bayonet, you, the other lot, um, generally runs away. If you've got the advantage, get in with the bayonet and you will find that you've taken the ground from the enemy and you haven't actually had to kill them. So not so many of you die, um, but then also not so many of them die. But you've achieved your military objective, you've taken the position, so the bayonet was still effective. Bayonets were in fact very seldom used at all. Um, they, they look good. I mean, they're a big spiky thing on the, end of a, on the end of a rifle. It looks aggressive and it looks as though you're prepared to use it. And being prepared to use it makes you very manly and very soldierly. Um, but the portrait, there's a famous portrait of the thin red line, uh, for instance, at the um, Battle of Balaclava. And yes, there was a thin red line. And um, these uh, soldiers with their bayonets did hold the line against a cavalry charge. And that's very impressive. But actually the bayonet wasn't the thing that, that brought about the victory. What they did is just shot the enemy as they came in and uh, the enemy went down and, and some of them fell almost immediately in front of the line but it wasn't the bayonet that stopped them it was it was musket balls um, the bayonet in the picture looks really good because you've got a line of guys with bayonets holding fast um, but actually the bayonets didn't didn't do it the bullets did um, Bayonets, that's a bit of a sideline, sorry. Bayonets save lives. I was, the point I put, the reason I put that in was that it wasn't the bayonet that actually got used, it was, the, it was being prepared to use the bayonet that has its effect. So when you charge in with a bayonet, what you're saying is, I reckon I'm going to stick this into you unless you run away. Consider your options. What are you going to do? Uh, by and large, people ran away. So there you go. Bayonets save lives.